Hello everyone, let's have now the part 3 of our module 3 answers. So, lesson 2, properties of pure substance. So, after going through this module, you are expected to define mixtures, describe mixtures based on a set of properties, and relate the importance of mixture in real life situation. Let's first answer the what I know portion. So, number 1, the answer, two classes of matter, we have letter D, the substance and the mixture. Next, which is true regarding air, the answer is it's a mixture of gases. Number 3, what is the difference between a substance and a mixture? The answer is letter D, substance is pure while mixture is impure. Number 4, the answer is letter C, so evaporation, the process used to separate salt from water in a seawater mixture. Number 5, which of the following is a property of a mixture? It's letter B, it consists of a single phase. No, the answer key here is wrong. It should be mixture. Mixture is not necessarily consist of a single phase. Okay, the answer in the, uh, the answer key is letter B. Number six, which of the following is a physical appearance of a substance? Physical appearance. So it's letter. The answer in the answer key is complicated, which is wrong. It should be substance is homogeneous. Okay, homogeneous. By the way, let's correct number 5. I cannot just go without correcting number 5. Uh, we can answer it as a mixture could be heterogeneous composition or homogeneous. So let's just answer this because we can separate them into its components. Appearance of a substance again homogeneous. Which one is the best way to determine whether an unknown sample is a substance or a mixture? The answer is testing its melting and boiling point. All are techniques which help to separate components of mixture. Which of these is not? Alright, so it could be condensation. The answer is condensation. Number nine, which of the following is a heterogeneous mixture? The answer is hetero. Okay. It should be oil in water. Okay, so oil and water, we can distinguish them. That's heterogeneous. Okay, for number 10, the answer is letter B. 1 and 3. Okay. Number 11, the answer is letter Compound. Number 12. What substance is made by mixing two elements without being comically combined? The answer is, of course, it's a mixture. Okay, let me erase first. We are now in number 13. So, what is the best way to use in separating iron? From a mixture, it's magnet. That's letter B. Number 14, which of the following uses evaporation as a means of separating the components of the given mixture? Number 14, the answer is letter D. Okay, sugar and water. We're going to let the water evaporate. What remains would be sugar. Which of the following statements distinguishes pure substances from mixtures? The answer for number 15, it's letter D. So, pure substance have a constant boiling temperature and constant melting temperature. Alright, so let us proceed with the new lesson to be presented through a poem. So, we have here a poem, I am a substance, I am a mixture. Matter has two broad classes, mixture and substances, each one with differences. Let us start with their appearances. Homogeneous or heterogeneous telling a substance from a mixture can be used. When substances are all homogeneous, mixtures can be homo or heterogeneous. 
So take note in this poem, it is said that substances are all homogeneous. Mixtures can be homogeneous or heterogeneous. Next way to distinguish is through separating technique. Mixtures can be separated easy and quick through evaporation, distillation, and filtration. But not substances due to chemical combination. Substances and mixtures have differently during boiling and melting most especially. Boiling point of a substance is fixed while mixture is not. Substance melts completely but mixture does not. I am substance, I am mixture, two worlds apart. So take note that in the poem it is said that mixtures could be homogeneous and heterogeneous or heterogeneous substance is are all or substances are all homogeneous substances or also has a or substance has a fixed boiling point and a melting point or it has a bo a fixed boiling temperature and a fixed melting temperature whereas for the mixture it has a a varying varying temperature melting temperature and boiling temperature so usap usap changing so let's have here. Alright, so for appearance of the mixture, so mixture could be homogeneous or heterogeneous. For the melting point, for the mixture, it is not fixed. So we're going to answer here varying temperature or has portion that seems to be not melting okay has portions that seem to be not melting okay then for the boiling point it has a varying boiling temperature so, it keeps on changing. That's the mixture. Alright. So, let's proceed. Substances and mixtures are classes of matter. Mixtures are heterogeneous or without uniform composition and appearance are not the same all throughout. The temperature of a mixture is different from at different times. During melting, a mixture has portions that seem to be not melting. Alright. Take a look at the figures here because we are going to answer, uh, use these figures to answer the succeeding questions. Okay, for example, letter A, which picture shows filtration or straining? So our answer is letter H. Letter B, which picture shows filter paper being used? The answer is... Let us double check. Is let me correct there's no H uh, there's no figure H so the answer here is figure F for not letter B which picture shows filter paper being used it's let figure B then which picture figure or picture shows big pieces of iron being separated it's letter E using magnet then which Letter D, the answer is figure C. Letter E, the answer is letter A. Shows dissolving. And for F, the answer is... Let me double check. Okay, for F, the answer is letter or figure D. Okay. And we have here the separating techniques of a mixture. We have physical manipulation. So, just by using a spoon and scooping material by picking. Then we have the uh, using of magnet to separate metallic from non-metallic materials. We also have filtration. Then using the filter paper. Then we also have decantation just like um, separating rice from water. Then evaporation just like separating sea, uh, salt from water in the sea water. Okay, so let's continue. Base and table 1, our answer. Which liquid sample is a substance? The answer is liquid A. As you can see, it has a fixed boiling point after 12 minutes until 16 minutes. Okay, so the temperature at the beginning 28, 30, uh, no, no. 
the temperature the answer here would be 100 for liquid a and for liquid b it is 105 to 113 so observation while heating it has a fix liquid a has a fix then for liquid b it has a varying okay for number two which solid sample is a substance so the answer is solid a okay based on the table it melts completely while melting for solid b it has portions that seem to be not melting so this is the the mixture solid b the answer for number two is solid a okay so how are we going to separate salt and iron filings we can use magnet water and pillows you can have decantation salty water we can have evaporation salt iron filings and water again you can use magnet and afterwards decantation no evaporation after is evaporation after using magnet to separate salt and water then for gravel sand and sugar we can have decantation at first then we have we can have uh, filtration then for gravel sand sugar and iron filings you can use magnet at first then next is let's have physical manipulation can we do it oh your we can answer cannot be separated then okay so by just looking at it liquid a is a substance okay substance and for liquid b it's a mixture okay it's a mixture mixture here is substance okay so I'm just using my mouse it's very hard for me to write in here but uh, okay you just continue it then what can I say about the sample take note the sample is a varying temperature does not melt completely so it's a mixture the sample is a mixture okay so this is a mixture and in here Okay, so if you're going to say that the melting rate would be... It says that solid A is a substance, so it will melt completely. For solid B, if it's a mixture, then there is a portion that seems to be not melting. That is the answer. So you just listen to what I am saying. I am not uh, writing. Okay, number one answer, it's mixture. Number two, it's different. Number three, the answer is manipulation. Number four, it's magnet. Use of magnet. Then number five, ma filtration. Number six, liquid. Liquid. Yeah. Liquid. And number seven, it's evaporation. Okay, so for this part, you're going to identify at least five examples of mixtures found in nature, in the supermarket, grocery store, and even at your home. So you're going to distinguish them. So let's have, we have, we have rice and water. And the appearance is heterogeneous. The separating techniques is decantation. And for its boiling um, rice and water. Okay. So again, since it's a mixture, boiling point is different in different times. And if it is a solid, the melting point is a portion does not melt. There is a portion that, that does not melt. For seawater, we have homogeneous and it's uh, evaporation. It's the method of separation and so on. the answers from 10 to number 13 for number 14 and number 15 for the answer here separate components of various sizes using a spoon physical manipulation then this is used when separating iron magnet 
one separation of insulin from liquid use number one 